Google's Pixel series of smartphones has really been a game changer for the company and for the world of smartphones. The new Google Pixel 7 comes with additional features including a built-in VPN and a security chip. In this video, we'll discuss these amazing new features and everything else that makes the Google Pixel 7 great. Let's get to it. The journey of the Pixel 7. The Google Pixel 7 needs to accomplish more than most brand new smartphones. Most smartphones have to persuade cautious customers that the device's new features and improvements are worthwhile. The Pixel 7 must accomplish both of these goals, as well as persuade us that Google may be onto something with its custom-designed CPU and GPU. The Google Tensor G2 is the latest and most powerful processor for Pixel. It was made in collaboration with Google AI, and because of its CPU, the Pixel 7 can be faster, use less energy, and be more secure. Tensor G2 was built from the ground up, and the goal of making the Pixel work better and have more features. Because of this, it's got a much longer battery life, takes more eye-catching pictures, and makes more interesting videos. When Google announced its Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro flagships a year ago, the company said that its Tensor system on a chip and its specific Titan M2 security processor were made to work with a new generation of security and privacy features. The company also announced that it will build on the foundations as it gets ready to release the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro. This expansion will add the new Tensor G2 processor, more independent security certifications for the Titan M2, and software features like an Android VPN that will be built into the phone to protect user privacy while keeping performance at a high level. The Google Pixel 7 Security Chip The Pixel 7 series introduces new features and capabilities that may sway consumers to give Google smartphones a try. The new Pixel 7 has a cutting-edge Tensor chip inside in addition to the excellent photography software typical of Google mobile devices. Both the Titan M2 security chip and the security core built into Tensor keep your private information like passwords and pins and other sensitive data safe. Because of this technology, it is used to protect Chromebooks and the data centers are a part of the Google Cloud. Any sensitive information you might store on your Pixel device is just as safe when it's stored on other devices as well. The Tensor G2 CPU makes it possible for Pixel 7 series to automatically shut down on background noise. This makes your phone calls comfortable and clearer than they ever have been before. The developers at Google really got their lightbulb moment and went on to include this new security chip in the Pixel 7. Over the course of three years, the Titan M2 was put through a series of tough tests by the research firm SGS Brightsight. Several hardware security certifications have recently been given to the chip because it has completed the same process that is used to make smart cards, SIM cards and the chips in bank cards. These certifications also make sure that the chip can't be used without authorization. Titan M2 was able to pass most of the difficult hardware vulnerability tests, which shows that it is very resistant to physical attacks. In the past few years, chip manufacturers have put more emphasis on how important this particular criteria is. Dave Kleidermacher, who is the Vice President of Engineering for Android Security and Privacy, says that this testing is meant to simulate the complexity of attacks that are backed by the government and carried out by individuals with almost unlimited resources. Google is expanding its works on what it calls protected computing with the release of the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro. The goal is to limit who can access user data, when that data can be accessed, to de-identify and anonymize data when it must be used, to reduce the amount of information that can be used to identify a user, and to do as much processing as possible on the user's device instead of in the cloud. Google says that it can make better plans because it has control over both the hardware and the software of Pixel smartphones. Talk about multiple levels of protection. The VPN features. Virtual private networks, commonly known as VPNs, are intended to assist users safeguarding their online privacy and security by concealing their IP addresses and encrypting the data that is transported to and from their device. VPNs are popular in both businesses and consumers, and you can use them for free. Some people use VPNs not only to protect their privacy and safety, but also to hide their location and watch TV shows that aren't available in their country. By the end of 2022, Pixel 7 users who want to encrypt their network traffic and hide their IP addresses for mobile networks and internet providers will be able to do so with the VPN by Google One. This is despite the fact that the benefits of VPNs for the average user in terms of privacy and security are somewhat arguable. VPN by Google One 
is a service that lets users encrypt their network traffic and hide their IP addresses from mobile networks and internet providers. Google says that in the past, users who wanted to add a VPN to their mobile device had to download a third-party option instead of using Google's built-in VPN service. This happened because Google didn't have its own VPN service. Now, let's talk about some of the Pixel 7's additional features, including the specs, the cool adjustments, and the modifications that differentiate it from the Pixel 6 series. The Pixel 7 retains the same sleek and distinctive features for the Pixel 6, but the Pixel 7's rear cameras are instead located in a vertical bar that runs the entire length of the device. The camera strip on the Pixel 7 is no longer made of plastic, but rather aluminium with a matte finish for a more refined appearance. The Pixel 7 also weighs 6.9 ounces, which is less than the 7.3 ounces of the Pixel 6. On the display, the Pixel 7 is now way ahead of the Pixel 6. The display of the Pixel 7 can become as bright as 1,400 nits, helping you see more clearly in direct sunlight. It is estimated that the Pixel 7 can maintain a brightness of up to 1,000 nits while playing back HDR video. This is comparable to the maximum brightness of the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro, which is 1,100 nits. So you'll be able to use your phone for extended periods of time outside without straining your eyes. Even when comparing the two phones side by side, the difference is clear, and Google claims an improvement of up to 25%. For haptics, the vibrations pack a very pleasing punch which aren't too mushy. Whether you're texting or scrolling through previously used apps, even little cues like vibrations for notifications are easily distinguishable. The Pixel 7 has a biometric fingerprint scanner that also allows face unlock located underneath the display. In addition, Google's Pixel 7 series can improve both your physical and digital well-being simultaneously. The Pixel 7 includes a suite of features dubbed Digital Wellbeing, which are designed to encourage users to put their phones away in the evening and get a better night's sleep. In the meantime, Google has included an optional feature to Pixel 7 called Cough and Snore Detection, which is designed to alert you to potential issues which could disrupt your sleep. You may also type with your voice in real time using the Pixel 7. Google have promised a 25 times speed gain when utilizing voice input compared to keyboard. The Pixel 7 series sees the feature's language support expanded even further to include Spanish, Italian, and French. You may also use the voice commands to ask Google to insert a specific emoji or search for one. But since the voice data isn't processed locally, the voice to text conversion might still be a bit slow. And we've come to the end of the video, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and click the subscribe button to get more updates on Google's latest flagships. Don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Have you used any of the phones from the Pixel series? What are you looking forward to in the Pixel 7? Let us know in the comments below and thank you again for watching.